Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. <laughs> Wildlife can be pretty cruel and demanding, so defense mechanisms are very important in all animal life. Most animals living on the earth are hunted by predators. That's why many species have evolved one or more defense mechanisms, which help to protect them from dangerous animals. Many of these defense mechanisms are very interesting and help the animal in surviving. Today, we are looking at the top 10 weird ways animals protect themselves. Number one will definitely shock you, so watch out for that. Number 10, exploding ant. Let's start with an insect we see everywhere. Ants are amazing creatures. They spend all all of their lives in their colony, working together to ensure its success. Each has a specific purpose for which it was born, one of which is to defend the colony from any and all enemies, and in the case of the Malaysian exploding ant, at even the cost of their own lives. On the outside, this tiny ant is just an inconspicuous brownish red ant that lacks large mandibles, cannot sting, and generally seems like easy pickings for any predator looking for an easy meal. But when these ants feel threatened, they raise up their rumps as a warning. Then, if the would-be attacker, a much larger weaver ant, say, doesn't back off, one or more tiny ants bite down on it, angle their backsides in close, and flex so hard their abdomens burst at the seams. By tearing themselves apart, the ants sacrifice themselves to protect the rest of the colony. When they explode, the ants unleash a secretion that is bright yellow, sticky, and toxic. Bad news for any predator who happens to catch a mouthful of it. Number 9. The Potato Beetle one way of making sure people don't come near you is by covering yourself in your own feces. Yes, we know that sounds disgusting, but we are pretty sure that it would work, although we are yet to meet anybody who has tried to do this just to avoid people. But in the animal kingdom, many tiny critters use their feces to defend themselves from predators. Have you ever had a monkey throw its poop at you? That's one way to do it, but these tiny insects use poop very differently. The potato beetle loves its own feces, and it's not afraid to flaunt it. To defend itself from any would-be predator, it smears its feces all over its body. Kind of like a suit of armor, but poop. Aside from looking and smelling disgusting, there is another very lethal reason why animals avoid eating the potato beetle. The poop is poisonous. It just so happens that this beetle's favorite food is a plant called nightshade, an extremely poisonous plant. So following the idea, if you are what you eat, the feces of the beetle contains the toxins of the nightshade plant. To put that in perspective, chewing on a single leaf of this plant can effectively kill a person. Number 8. Sea Cucumbers Sea cucumbers are the least intimidating creatures you will ever see in your life. They usually lie motionless on the bottom of the ocean, content with filtering out tiny food particles floating around in the water, just living its pretty uneventful life. But if a sea cucumber is attacked, or at least feels threatened, it has all manner of defense mechanisms to ensure its survival. First off, they can change from solid form to a liquid form, allowing them to escape into the tiniest of cracks. They can also disassemble themselves into many tiny pieces, fooling any would-be predator that they are already dead, then reassemble themselves again when the danger is past. But their most impressive and deadly defense mechanism is the ability to expel their guts through their anus, exposing their toxic intestines to the attacker, giving it a mouthful of poison as a fitting punishment for attacking this seemingly harmless creature. Number 7. Texas Horned Lizard Texas Horned Lizards is one of the most unusual reptiles out there. It can be easily distinguished from all other lizards by its combination of a short, squat body, two very large horns at its back of the head, followed by two smaller ones on each side of a short, pointed tail. But their defense mechanism is the most unusual factor. When under threat, they close their eyes and the eyelids appear to inflate. They then squirt a directed stream of blood from the sinuses of their eye cavity towards the would-be predator. It repels the predator and helps the lizard run away. Number 6. Spanish Ribbed Newt Amphibians have evolved a number of defense mechanisms against predators, but all amphibian anti-predator mechanisms, the Spanish rib newt wins the trophy. In addition to some very noxious skin secretions, this little amphibian possesses a bizarre defense tactic. When faced with a threat, the newt projects its ribs outside its body wall, turning them into sharp, poisonous spines, giving a whole new meaning to the phrase concealed weapons. 
When the ribbed newt becomes agitated or perceives a threat, it swings its ribs forward, increasing its angle to the spine up to about 50 degrees. As it does this, the newt keeps the rest of its body still so the tips of the newt's ribs penetrate through the skin walls, sticking outside of its body. If a predator tries to bite the newt or pick it up using its mouth, the newt's ribs act like poisonous barbs, injecting a poisonous milky substance secreted from its skin into the mouth of the predator, which can cause pain and death too in some cases. How bizarre is this technique? Number 5. Boxer Crab If you're a pom-pom boxer crab, you'll often need to fight to stay alive. When the bell rings, you'll need, you'll need your anemone to pack some extra sting. The relationship between the boxer crab and the sea anemones that they use as pom-pom boxing gloves is one of the most unusual in nature. These crabs pick up and use the anemone in each claw. This colorful display serves as a natural deterrent to predators, and when directly threatened, the crab will utilize the sea anemone in a forward punching movement towards the aggressor. The sea anemone's stinging tentacles serve as the ultimate defense mechanism for the crab. In exchange for this defense, boxer crabs feed their helpful partners. The crabs utilize the sea and enemy's tentacles to collect food particles, then subsequently digest the debris and provide meals in return, making the most unlikely and amazing friends. Number 4. Blue Ringed Octopus You would be forgiven for thinking how cute this creature is at first sight. At first glance, the blue ringed octopus looks perfectly innocent. It's a psychedelic coloring, and pint-sized packing make it seem more adorable than alarming. But don't let this cuddly exterior fool you, or be the reason you go and touch it. This tiny octopus can kill you, and quickly. Native to the Pacific Ocean, the blue ringed octopus can be found in the soft, sandy bottom of shallow tide pools and coral reefs. If you catch them outside of their cozy hiding spots, it's easy to see how the animal gets its name. When threatened, the bright blue rings appear all over its body as a warning signal to potential predators. The blue ringed octopus's venom is in a league of its own. Its venom is 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide. And this golf ball sized powerhouse packs enough venom to kill 26 humans within minutes. It's no surprise that it's recognized as one of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. Number 3. Hagfish At the bottom of the ocean, a bizarre looking fish known as the hagfish is found. It is said to be so ancient that it hasn't changed for around 300 million years. It is found near the ocean floor in the deepest parts. Its body is made up of velvet smooth skin with no scales and it has a skull with no spine. Its wrinkled skin might look disgusting to you, but the weirdest feature of the hagfish is its mouth which looks like it's out of some alien movie. Hagfish has one of the most interesting and disgusting defense mechanisms out there. When dealing with a threat, it releases a nasty slime. The slime sends the predator into fits as it coughs up the substance, trying to prevent suffocation, which usually leaves enough time for the slime eel to escape. This is what 300 million years of evolution does to you. Number 2. Matixia More than 12,000 species of maltipede are currently known to science, but researchers, but researchers suggest the vast majority remain undiscovered. The real number of species could actually be as high as 100,000 or so. With so many species, some are supposed to have some very weird features, right? Well, of all these creepy crawlies, eight species are bioluminescent, meaning they can glow just like fireflies and glowworms. All are part of a genus known as Mitoxia. Millipedes can make a juicy meal for larger predators, so brightly glowing millipedes might seem like easy prey. However, the Mitoxia millipedes that gather among the roots and branches of Sequoia's ancient trees used their natural bioluminescence as a warning to potential predators, as the tiny bugs secrete a surprising amount of cyanide as a defense mechanism. The mice go to consume the brightly lit bugs. They are treated to a strong, if not fatal, dose of the poison. These things look so amazing in the dark though, but don't go petting one now. Number 1. The Electric Eel Someone said a shocking offense is the best defense, and in the case of the famous electric eel, it's 100% correct. The remarkable physiology of the electric eel made 
made it one of the first model species in science. It was pivotal for understanding animal electricity in the 1700s. Eels used their high voltage electricity in two different ways. When prey have been detected, eels use high voltage to cause immobility and induce sustained involuntary muscle contraction. Once grasped in the eel's jaws, difficult prey is often subdued by sandwiching them between the two poles of the eel's powerful electric organ. The resulting concentration of the high voltage discharge delivered at high rates causes its prey to become immobile. For self-defense, electric eels leap from the water to directly electrify threats. Electric eels use high voltage not only as a weapon, but also to efficiently track fast-moving prey. In conclusion, these creatures are often way ahead of humans. Which of these animals did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.